larger design project is to develop a solar-powered lantern uh, for a community in uh, Samos San Lucas in Guatemala. They're off-grid, so right now they're using uh, candles and kerosene lamps, uh, which are both costly and also hazardous, both for health concerns as well as, uh, as a fire hazard. So we tasked the teams in our class to build a solar-powered lantern. We don't want them to just build something that you could just buy off the shelf, but rather use something where we could uh, provide the community with some basic circuitry, cells, batteries, uh, LEDs, and allow them to build their own lanterns. So a lot of the prototypes are using plastic containers, tape, string, wood, you know, things like that that they could actually find in their nearby community. So if they ever have to repair it, they want to build more, uh, they can do it themselves. In our classes we learn a lot of technical information and this is really a chance to think about how your engineering designs have to be culturally sustainable. We used a peanut butter jar as our case and we have our circuit inside the lid here. Our solar cells on top and we have an LED as our light. This will help them see at night, help them do homework and travel down to the river. It's just a thought that there's a city in Guatemala that I'm going to be helping with my lantern, but like when I'm actually meeting them, it's going to like solidify that like this is actually going to be used. It's just going to be really cool to meet them, I think. Knowing it's going to a good cause, that'll make me feel good inside, you know. Like, I feel like I'm actually doing something in the world rather than just learning in school. So hopefully in these uh, design projects, we're hoping that they can come away with not just uh, uh, an ability to solve a problem, but also to use their science and math skills essentially to come up with a solution to meet a customer need, but also to do something that will uh, benefit society and uh, uh, make the world a better place.